Hey guys, I'm making this video today to um, celebrate, really, uh, as you will all know if you're a Leeds fan, the departure of Captain Birdseye, Mr. Ken Bates, and wow, what a day we've had today. Uh, we signed Luke Murphy, who was a sought after talent for £1 million. I never thought I'd say that. Never in a million years thought I'd say that but I am and I just wanted to get your guys opinions on it I mean uh, I'm in shock really two days ago McDermott comes out we've got no money we're gonna have to sell and I just thought fuck's sake same shit all over again fed up of it not buying any tickets EA not buying any shirts shove it up your ass now Shirt. I'm possibly going to go to some games this year if I'm not working and I'm happy to support the club fully you know like spend as much money as the wife will let me <laughs> but yeah uh, basically it's all good it really is all good because we needed something we really really did need something to happen it was going to get to the point where GFH was absolutely hated and there was nothing really that we could have expected to do about that. The result of so many things going on, so much shit going down, that it's just got out of hand. But luckily it hasn't got to that. GFH have pulled the finger out, they've spent some money and we've acquired Matt Smith and Luke Murphy and uh, McDermott has already said that we're getting another one in on Wednesday or Thursday. Now, I don't know about anyone else, but I've had to pinch myself numerous times today because I just can't believe it. I'm not used to this. We used to despair. We used to being called morons. We used to being treated like shit. What is going on? What the fuck is going on? Is this a new era for Leeds United Football Club? It would seem so. I mean, Richard Cresswell, 2005, was the last time we spent one million on a football player. 2005. That's amazing. That is the epitome of Ken fucking Bates. Tightwad old twat. Now, I'm as glad as anyone that he's gone, but the topping on the beautiful cake that was today was Sean Harvey being demoted and David Hay putting himself in charge of pretty much everything on transfers and the works and I think that is awesome because he's so useless is Sean Harvey he's just fucking I don't know what he does with his spare time because he certainly doesn't talk to teams and get good players in for us because it's taken David Hay one day to get us Luke Murphy. Oh, Brian McDermott has to take some credit. He has really worked his ass off to get him in and I really appreciate that. I'm sure a lot of Leeds fans do. And he's the kind of manager that we've needed for years. You know, someone who knows talent when he sees it. Someone who's got the patience to deal with not getting the wrong way straight away. I mean, with Ken Bates, the answer was no, no, no. I know uh, Simon Grayson came out and actually said that he got told he had to sell Becchio if he wanted to get um, any other players in. And that led to Grayson being sacked, funny enough. So... I'm surprised uh, it wasn't the same case with Warnock, but alas, it, it was. Uh, I'm just going to show you, basically, players who have moved. So, as you all know, Steve Morrison is now at Millwall. And he can freaking stay there, because he's the most laziest striker I have ever seen. Uh, I'll never forget against Charlton, through on goal, it was like he hit quicksand, he just stopped, now, I don't know what was going through his head at the time, like, 
oh my god I'm gonna scar her, oh my god I best not scar I really don't want to because it really looked like he didn't want to yeah I've already put Luke Murphy in my team oh yeah, I'm keen what can I say and um, oh, Smith isn't in here so let's put him in now I'll show you a few other players as well which I would like us to sign this summer probably won't get them all but to get a few of them would be fantastic uh, Lafondra one of them but I can't see us getting him so really that would be a bonus if anything if we got him Matt Smith is a 57 on this game oh dear I hope he's better than that in real life Yeah, Sutherland, uh, oh no, it's not the same Sutherland that's been in my career. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to show you guys some other players which I think Leeds could sign in this window. Straight away. He might be back at Leicester. He is back at Leicester. Um... I'm sure you guessed who it is. Jermaine Beckford, been linked to him in every bloody transfer window since he's gone. If he's going to move to Leeds United, this has to be the window. If not, and it's rumoured that he's agreed a deal with Bolton, he will never, I can't see him in a Leeds shirt again, ever. Which is kind of a shame, but I can't see it, to be honest. Uh, another player we've been linked to where is he there he is left back very very good player uh, Tommy Rowe I think they want one million for him as well so for the sake of it we're gonna transfer him in because I can see that deal happening so Tommy Rowe, uh, Kevin Doyle, possibly, maybe, I don't know, uh, one player I can definitely see us getting if his um, move to Doncaster falls through is uh, Borenser, I'll show you, Brentford, plays for, left midfielder, uh, I can see us getting him if his move falls through to uh, Doncaster because obviously they're a championship club as well now which is a good thing to have on your side I mean we beat some premiership opposition to yet Luke Murray so yeah I'm not used to it like I say we beat Blackburn we beat Wolves we beat quite a few teams so. to get him is just fantastic Naki Wells, I can't see it happening, but I would love, I would love for him to be one of our targets, but I can't see it happening. One I can definitely see happening, and I don't even see the point in mentioning it. I might as well transfer him in now. Actually, is uh, Neil Hunt. He's been the talk of the town, really. I mean. Murray was actually a surprise where Hunt isn't and Lafondra can't see it happening uh, where is he? I might have already uh, transferred him out actually I think I have Basically, uh, that's it, guys. Uh, possibly Matt Mills as well. Not really fussed about him. Hasn't really done much at Bolton or wherever he was before Leicester. I think he was at before, and they paid like four million for him, and he turned out to be a massive flop. But McDermott is known to get the best out of players that haven't had it all their own way and have had a bad time of it. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm going to play a quick game for you. 
since I feel like it. <laughs> and uh, I'll try and explain what's going to happen with this channel as best I can. Basically, my plan for this channel is to keep it alive. I mean, just random it. To keep it alive, and by keeping it alive, I mean literally just putting some new content out there now I'm asking you guys what would you like to see uh, amongst this new content because I really don't know actually I'm going to turn match day off so I can use my custom squad I really don't know I mean I made a video earlier saying that I'm getting a gaming PC hopefully this month so I should be able to cover a lot more range of games like Skyrim, F1, FIFA you know with like custom mods, new kits uh, might be able to do some mod reviews I'd love to do that and then send it to the modder and say you know this is a great mod I really enjoy playing it or oh, this broke my game you asshole you know you get the message so let's swap out Peltier because I don't rate him at all. I'm gonna actually put Tommy Rowe at left back. I'm gonna give Matt Smith a chance instead of the, the abomination that is Luke Varney. And I'm gonna put Byron at right midfield because Michael Brown shouldn't be anywhere near a leech. Chris Dawson and Thomas. I can see quite all these players not being here next season Michael Tong, I can't see him being here Paul Green, I don't know, I like Paul Green to be honest, he works hard never gives up I like him uh, I hope he stays but I can't see it Jason Pierce, I can't see him in the Leeds next year Paddy Kenny now that Neil Warnock's gone, I can't see him at Leeds next year Jamie Ashdown I think should get the nod for the uh, first choice but I'm sure McDermott's got plans already to bring in a better keeper which is a shame really because I think he deserves a chance he really does I'm gonna play Ross instead I'm gonna put Murphy at centre mid Ross are at left centre mid a Ross McCormack at attacking mid Pollon and Matt Smith uh, I'm going to put Juve on the bench. So basically, that will be my team for next season. Apart from Jason Pierce, uh, that'll be a cent another centre back. Uh, White, I think he'll go. Austin, I don't know, I just can't see him playing the McDermott way. But he likes to keep it on the floor, and Austin. Not half likes his shots. He likes to get his shots off whenever he can, so we'll see. I think it's gonna be a very, very exciting year this season for Leeds United Football Club. I can see us challenging for promotion, but I can also see us just getting a little bit ahead of ourselves having a good early run and then throwing it away like we always do Hello, I'm Clyde I mean I've got Andy I would love nothing more than for Leeds to be in the Premier well, League Leeds United I just can't see it happening in the near this future the of a, a close two or three to years I I well truly on the fence today, until Tom then I think we just need to build for the future and I think that Dermot is the absolute right man to do that Polly on. So, anyway I'm playing black on my custom That's team. Well We're on the attack Luke here. Murphy on the ball. Oh, our new signing. It's a corner. We I all know what they can do from corners. I hate the new one as well. <laughs> oh, what a header! That was close. That was actually really close. Oh shit! Tom Ince. Rumours that he's at Swansea. For a medical tomorrow. 
Don't know if they're true or not, but if they are, I think Swansea have got themselves a hell of a player, and I think Thomas Ince will make them a much, much better team uh, alongside Mishu. It'll be quality. Oh, Matt Smith's drawn goal. <laughs> that was my fault. I expected the keeper to rush out, and I was just going to lob him, but he didn't, so my fault. Ah, uh, what else can I say or mention? FIFA 14, I've seen a few trailers of it, and really... It doesn't look that much different to this. Oh, is frustrating. I there was we say this every year though, and then we play it and we're like, I'll never go back. I'll never go back to FIFA 13. I must just play FIFA 14. I've done it with every FIFA, so I'm sure I'll do it again. Next gen consoles. Uh, PlayStation 4 for me. Xbox One. Although they've gone back on the DRM policy, you know, no pre-owned no pre games and just as can't they lend them to people they and that, the they've away. gone back on that. I still don't think the Xbox One is worth and the money that Microsoft are asking for. Uh, 430 quid is a fuck load of money. I mean, I'm paying 530 for my computer and it's killing me. But it will last me years, years and years and years. And I think it's better to get a PC than to shell out for another laptop and it die again in two years because that's exactly what's happened to this one. I had, I got this one in 2010 and it's dead. The screen's broken, half my buttons are missing. It constantly overheats, it's just knackered. So. We need a goal here. Smith. Go on, Byron. Go on, son. To try and play him in. Oh, the that. that really annoys me about FIFA. The keeper is always favourite, and that is not always the case, especially against a big lad like Matt Smith. So. But yeah guys, let me know what you want to see in my channel and I will try and get it out to you. Obviously uh, it's very difficult not having a laptop, but I'll improvise, I'll ask my wife if I can use hers or I'll uh, find a way to upload it. Uh, can use my TV as my screen, but it's really tedious and annoying. So really, I prefer not to do that, but I have to do it. I have to do it. It really annoys her because while I'm using my laptop, she can't use the TV because I'm using it as a screen. So I think it kind of gets on my nerves. Go on, Paul. Again, Smith would head that in. He would at least pressure the keeper into making a mistake. FIFA needs to sort that. There's a lot of things FIFA need to sort. Some of the overalls in these players are ridiculous. Like, for example, Blue Murray's 64. I know he's been in League 2. Is it League 2? We're in the League 1 now, they got promoted, didn't they? But yeah, you can have the occasional the player where they could be absolutely the right mint, even though they're mint in real life, they're still shit on FIFA. And that really well. annoys me. It's like, for example, David Beckham, he's like 74 odd on this game. I think he ends up being like 79 before he retires, but he's much better than that. I mean, he's not as fit as he used to be, but apart from that, he's still the same player that was like nearly 90 odd in 2003 or whatever it was when he was at Man United. And it's just ridiculous. Like, I would have had him in the high 80s. But that's my opinion. FIFA are probably just trying to balance the game out as much as they can. Uh, Sam Byron, another example of. FIFA's bullshit rating. When the game came out, he was 60. 
he's now 70 overall and I still don't think it's high enough because he's sought after by so many clubs why would they want a 70 rated overall player they wouldn't so really they need to work on the realism of the overall system so for example if he joins Man City he's instantly going to go up 10 fucking attributes I bet you he does I bet you if he does get transferred to Man City this season he's like at nearly 79 or something like that that really pisses me off it's like for example Steve Morrison when he was at Norwich he was a 77 overall yeah he joins Leeds becomes 71 now what the fuck is that about I know they're trying to balance it out like because it's a lower league but he's the same player that he was at the start of the friggin season so why punish us for acquiring him <sighs> run over <laughs> if, if anyone else sees my point they'll let me know because I would like to think it's not just me that is annoyed about that it's just ridiculous and Warnock as well Stephen Warnock I think he was like 75 when he was at Villa he joins Leeds and now he's a 70 just takes the absolute piss oh shit he's on sound alright that was close There's a lot of things they need to work on. Murphy. McCormack. Uh, I will admit, I have had a look at the new Pro Evolution Soccer and it does look very, yeah, very Smith. good. Uh, I am wanting to play Murphy. 2013 Pez and I probably will at some Murphy. point and create leads on it or download a patch or whatever. I usually do it every year, so now, can they open them up? it shouldn't be any different. Can Apparently, the goalkeepers it? are so much improved, which is one thing I really didn't they like about Pez. The, like the goalkeepers were fucking retarded. Like, you'd shoot it at them from about 20 yards and they palm it straight into the path of an oncoming no striker words. nearly every time. I mean, no some through. goalkeepers aren't like bloody... Smith stupid they can catch a ball I was going to say like De Gea but De Gea is actually a very good goalkeeper uh, not the best at catching but a fantastic shot stopper and that's coming from a Leeds fan he's a very good goalkeeper he has definitely got the potential to be one of the best goalkeepers in the world and it makes me sick saying that it's true This in a while, I've been playing it on PC, so. Before my laptop died, I was playing it on PC, and like, I've changed the kit, so it's the new one. As much as I don't like it, I like things to be up to date. That was awful. There's no words to describe how bad that actually was. If uh, people want to know what computer I'm planning to get, I will put a link in the description. It's from eBuyer, and uh, I've been told by a friend it is absolutely fantastic for what I want it for, which is basically gaming and uh, converting videos. It's very good for that, so it should do just the trick. The only thing about the um, computer which is kind of retarded is there's no Wi-Fi card in it. Oh, that was close. A lot closer than I anticipated. Let's get that. No one attack it. Oh, that was a bit. That was a little bit special. That was a little bit tasty. I like that. 
I'm going to do another. Yes. Matt Smith scores his first Leeds United goal. And of course, it's a double header from corner. What else? Is there anything else I want you to mention to you? Yeah, one more thing. Uh, does anyone find my series of Leeds United and Chesterfield kind of the same thing every time? Uh, I'll try and spice it up a bit. I might do it live like this and just like cut out the really annoying bits like nothing happening for 30 minutes so I'll do my best in that department to make it a bit more interesting but I can only do so much with what little time I have and uh, yeah I think that's it, basically, I'm just going to finish this game, I think I've said everything I needed to say, I've uh, been swamped with work and I've apologised to you numerous times for it, and I will try and get back into a schedule of uploading, it's not just work, I've had a newborn son as well who has been a hell of a lot more work than I thought he would be, he's very advanced for his age. So, he's already on food and he's only just turned Better 17 react, weeks so It's all fun and games. Go on, pull on. Oh. That was an awful, awful tackle. That was a mint tackle. How the hell did Jilt save that? Smith nearly had another one then. Ins. Polyon. Um, for those interested in like FIFA modding for the PC. I might try and make a few fantasy kits for the, referee, the likes of a few teams so that I'm planning on doing here. careers with and stuff, so oh, if you uh, see a kit that I use in my new videos which will be on PC and you like them, just ask me and the I'll be more than happy to here. share it with you. Finish! Yes! Matt Smith again! The ball through just made that goal happen. It was awesome. Hey, you get to watch it back now. That ball there. I think that was uh, Forrester as well. It's actually an own goal, I think, but they've given it to Smith. And he's got a brace. Hopefully, that's a sign of things to come. I don't want to put too much pressure on the lad. Go on, get your hat trick, mate. Oh, it's a corner. It's a corner. Where is he? I'm aiming for him. Bob Pierce, isn't it? Chase it down. It's going to be full time as soon as they put it into the box. Oh dear, that is really bad defending. I don't know how they missed that, to be fair. That is a sin to miss that. I mean, he could have even squared it to and still scored, and he didn't. I've got one more chance. Nope, that's it, guys. It's a good win. Uh, quite surprised Mark Smith managed to get two goals, but like I say, I hope it's a sign of things to come. Uh, back four. 
conceding. They just some sets. Like I say, hopefully it's a sign of things to come. <laughs> Cheers for uh, taking the time to watch this. Uh, sorry that I haven't uploaded in so long. I'm going to try and get back into a routine of uploading whenever I can. And uh, when I have a faster PC, I'm sure it'll be a lot more easier for me. But until then, uh, all I can do is ask for your patience, guys. I'm not dead. I'm very much alive. Uh, if that was the case of people wondering, I'm on Twitter, as you know. So find me on there uh, at XN YouTube. So uh, follow me on Twitter if you really want to. Uh, mostly lead stuff mentioned on it. So get yourself on there and uh, I'll see you on there. Uh, cheers for watching guys. Uh, I hope you have a good day and um, I hope Leeds continue to spend money and uh, get the fans on their side. GFH.